the it divide my friend swapna had been unwell for 3 weeks but i had come to know about her illness only after many days after office one day i thought of visiting her though it was late afternoon i wanted to take some fruit and flowers but i was wondering where to buy them normally my mother and sister do the shopping i called my assistant ramesh and asked him to show me where i could get good fruit and flowers he knew of a shop that was on the way to swapna's house and we decided to stop there to make my purchases it was one of those hot afternoons i was nearly drenched in sweat and my cotton sari was crumpled as i was going to meet a good friend i wanted to choose the flowers myself instead of leaving the choice to ramesh at the shopping complex the ice cream stall appeared to be doing brisk business i could see the rush of excited children and their worried mothers being holiday time the children seemed totally unconcerned about their mothers threats and warnings it reminded me of the times when my children used to do the same and i felt sorry that those childhood days were gone i was standing in front of the flower shop which also sold fruit the bright colorful and fragrant flowers were arranged so well that it was hard to take my eyes off them there were fragrant white rajnigandhas bright red roses gladioli in half bloom and many other kinds of flowers they seemed to have just arrived from the garden as their stems were still being trimmed and dipped in water on the other side were mounds of neatly arranged fruit mangoes from mumbai grapes from bijapur guavas from allahabad oranges from nagpur they all looked so tempting that i was confused about what to buy i asked the shopkeeper how much a bunch of pink roses would cost they hadn't bloomed fully and looked very beautiful though he had heard me he did not bother to answer i repeated my question disdainfully he answered each rose will cost rupees 3.50 and there are 20 roses to a bunch that makes it rupees 70 i was taken aback i had become like a rip van winkle unaware of the prevailing rates i could recall only the old prices and felt that everything had become very expensive I decided to inquire about the price of mangoes as well. I pointed to some Ratnagiri Alfonsos and asked him the cost of a dozen. The irritable vendor answered rupees 150 a dozen. Then speaking in Tamil thinking I wouldn't understand he remarked sarcastically to his friend these people cannot afford anything but come shopping anyway. They only do window shopping. I get tired of answering their questions people who really want to buy don't ask the price but this time Ramesh had completed his shopping and came to the flower shop smart and well dressed at all he was wearing a t-shirt with the company logo and his employee card dangled around his neck now it was his turn to inquire about the price of the roses and the mangoes Looking at him or probably at his t-shirt the shopkeeper replied politely sir a bunch of those roses will cost you rupees 100 only 5 rupees per flower the actual price is rupees 150 but for you i'll give it at rupees 100 see these mangoes they will cost only rupees 200 ramesh didn't say anything but i couldn't keep quiet how can you demand such a price 2 minutes ago you were telling me that the roses and mangoes cost rupees 70 and rupees 150 now you have increased the price how can you do such a thing the shopkeeper got angry if you can't afford to buy then keep quiet here is a man who is working for a big company can't you see his badge and company shirt he is in a software company they can afford any price and they don't bargain people like you cause only headaches to us Ramesh was about to reply but I stopped him It was a matter of great interest to me I have heard many people including real estate brokers marriage brokers landlords and job consultants classify our company as a software company or an IT company 
but this was more than all that is it really true that people working in it companies have to pay different rates compared to ordinary people like us i asked yes i am from bangalore i have seen that the moment a man is working in an it company the dowry rises by at least 2 lakhs after all they do earn so much what is wrong if i increase my price by just 50 rupees back in the car i reflected on the digital divide and rule policy in operation for it and non it workers even in everyday life